Dr. Michaels. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly really a pleasure uh, to be here this evening, and I've come to you not as a geriatrician because I'm really a family medicine physician who has a lot of special interest in geriatrics and palliative and hospice care. I do a lot of end-of-life work. But this is not about me, it's about the people who are all affected, all of you. I'm a resident up here as well, but it was very interesting when I sat and listened to this uh, group this evening and I heard that the um, defense was uh, using or capitalizing on the comment that it is all in your head. Let me clarify it a little bit. It's in your head, it's in your ears, it's in your nose, it's in your throat, it's in your chest. So really from all of that standpoint, I can tell you, thank you very much, that I see most of it as a primary inhalation problem. Uh, the people that I've seen that I've taken care of who are actually employees who um, have another you know, kind of business work. One is actually an employee of Toll Brothers who saw me the other day for a physical and said, I have a lot of mucus congestion and blood that's coming back in the back of my throat. And I know very well with whom he works and the exposure is an issue. And we're seeing asthma increases. We're seeing people who are using inhalers more often. We're seeing really primarily a lot of respiratory problems. As the other folks have talked to you this evening, it was excellent presentations, a lot of information. It is dose dependent. For those of us who do live in this area, if you have a chance to leave, if you're able to leave, if you work outside of the area, or you have a chance to re relocate, do it now. I'm telling you, it is really critical. It's more than we it's what we don't know than what we do know. And I think hearing that the litigation is going forward, there's a lot of information that will be coming out soon about what the uh, chemical carbons are that's coming out that's so volatile. It's not just the mercaptans. That's the stuff that we can smell. That's the stuff you, you can relate to. It's, it's noxious, but it's all the other materials. You know, most of you have probably been up here or familiar with the fires from about 10 years ago and know that you can see smoke, you can smell it, know you leave and uh, hopefully those good firefighters and all your concerned citizens take care of us and each other. When you can't see this material unless you have a hundred thousand dollar camera that shows you the infrared exposure of the arsenic, you, you don't see it. You can smell it and it's unbelievable when you see the quantity that's there that's coming out. That's at the overall picture and in what I see in the field that. So primarily pulmonary, people will bleed from their nose. Um, it's, it's not just a, of course, a pediatric problem, it affects all of us. So thank you for your attention. I really appreciate speaking.